Indian military sacrifice and 24-7 vigil along the India-Pakistan border has seen peace return to the Kashmir Valley for the first time in decades. Indian Army's efforts have even forced the Pakistan Army chief to admit that the world has abandoned Islamabad's rhetoric on Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir, the silence of the world over Kashmir is deafening. He said, quote, the silence of the world on Kashmir is deafening. While he goes on to repeat Pakistan's allegations against India like a broken record, the real message from the ground in Srinagar is actually loud and clear. 2023 witnessed 2 crore or 20 million tourists visit Kashmir, the highest in 77 years. This led to employment for the youth and a boost in local economy. Over a hundred movies were shot in Kashmir last year, spreading its beauty and culture across the world. At the same time, there has been a 66% decline in terrorism in Kashmir after the abrogation of Article 370 and Kashmir's complete integration into India. There is an 81% reduction in killing of civilians. There was not even a single stone-pelting incident in Kashmir in 2023. Not only is India crushing Pakistan's cross-border terrorism, it is also ensuring progress of Kashmir and Kashmiris like never before. And the world is taking note. It is no surprise that Pakistani army chief is feeling abandoned by friends and allies. On the other hand, Pakistan today is reliant on foreign aid and bailouts from friends and the International Monetary Fund, while attacks on minorities and forced conversions are a menace to humanity taking place every day in Pakistan. Pakistan's rattling on Kashmir today finds no takers apart from a few handful. And India, which is soon to become the world's third largest economy, once again exposed Pakistan's lies at the United Nations. Or is that too much to ask of a country that harbors a most dubious track record on all aspects? Kashmir in India is booming and flourishing. In 2023, Kashmir was the sixth most searched travel destination in Google across the world, higher than Italy in ninth and Switzerland in tenth place. While on one side, Kashmir's growth is making headlines across the world, it is easy to understand why Pakistan army chief seems rattled by the Kashmir situation. In Pakistan's occupied Kashmir, there have been massive protests against the Pakistani government, with large number of locals supporting a merger with India. Protesters in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir and Gilgit-Baltistan want Islamabad to vacate its troops and give the rights back to the people to freely decide on their future. The only support Pakistan seems to have is this vague comment from Iran. But if the will of people in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir is to be believed, they want freedom from Pakistan's illegal control. But it's no guarantee. Tomorrow, Iran may launch a missile attack on Pakistan, just like it did in January 2024. The Kashmir issue between India and Pakistan is not new. It dates back to 1947, when the then ruler and government of Jammu and Kashmir, Maharaja Hari Singh, acceded to India. Territory of Jammu and Kashmir legally became part of India with some special rights. But by then, Pakistan army, with the help of some hired tribals, had occupied parts of the mountainous region. The standoff and Pakistan's illegal occupation of legal Indian territory continues till today. Not just that, Pakistan ceded parts of occupied Kashmir to even China way back in 1963 to gain favour from Beijing. Known as Shak's Gum Valley, it lies close to the Siachen Glacier. India has repeatedly objected to Chinese construction on this occupied territory. The fact is that Pakistani government and its army entirely focus on competing with India. And this has led to the tanking of its economy and its standing in international order. This fact was reminded by Pakistan's opposition leader inside the Pakistani parliament. The truth is that Pakistan must look at its own image as the factory of terror. When the world's most wanted are found living close to the Pakistan military establishment and others roam free, even contesting elections, then it is not so hard to believe why Pakistan today finds itself isolated and failing and the global stage. Pakistan army chief called India his country's arch rival. But in reality, Pakistan is in no position today to rival India in terms of economic development, military strength, 
or India's soft power which is making an impact across the globe. Have your say. Will Pakistan ever be able to really challenge India? Leave a comment below and remember to hit the like and subscribe button.